Hey, all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you the Splinterlands Maintenance Window episode for August 15th, 2024. If you find value in this type of coverage, please like and subscribe. With that said, we have a lot to go over because there are a lot of changes going into the game tomorrow, August 15th, 2024. First off, we have the new Rebellion Era Rewards card set, which cycles in, and the Chaos Legion Reward card cy uh, set cycles out. Uh, over the last two weeks, you've seen various YouTube creators dropping all the uh, artwork and information about the new cards. That will occur tomorrow. Secondly, back-to-back uh, -back with that, the ability to unlock Chaos Legion Era reward cards goes into the game. This makes the cards transferable, usable on land, and sellable. And uh, the unlock fee starts at 10x, the 10 times the collection power value, which ramps up over six months. So this makes it more valuable or a better bargain. If you want to unlock your cards, do it soon, sooner rather than later. Third, we have the Glint Shop will receive a slight increase to the base cost of chests. So chests will be going up in price. Now, back to back with that change, we will have Glint received by lower leagues, those people playing in what formerly was bronze and silver, will get a significant increase to the glint they are receiving per match. Uh, the goal is to be able to buy a chest with three to five match wins. That's what they're shooting for. So I think this will be a vast improvement for those playing in the bronze and silver leagues. Next up, we have the current conflict will end and the next conflict will start. So the current card, which is Eternal Tofu, will be given away and the next conflict will start. The new airdrop card, as you can see, is Elias Max Pruitt. He, uh, his splinters are life and water, uh, seven mana, plus one to melee, plus one to armor, and then you can choose either repair and cleanse or armored strike and piercing. We will also have some changes, as mentioned in uh, videos the last few weeks, uh, to the voucher system. Okay, first off, uh, vouchers will be, uh, the consolidation of vouchers will begin uh, starting tomorrow, uh, August 15th, 2024. You will no longer be able to transfer vouchers out of game. You will be able to transfer them into game, but not out. The voucher liquidity pool rewards will be ending. So if you have any vouchers in uh, your in the liquidity pool, uh, it would behoove you to go ahead and remove them because you will not be getting any rewards for them. And thirdly, uh, no further voucher discounts will be received on node license sales. There are uh, a variety of other changes that are planned for the voucher system, but those will not uh, go into game until September 3rd or that is at least the goal date that they released. And last but not least, we have a new player quest system going into the game tomorrow. Uh, it will yield uh, 10,000 glint to the new player, uh, and it has a variety of things that the new player leads the new player through to accomplish, just like other games that we're aware of. Um, and obviously this is part of the reformation uh, of the new player experience. So that is good to hear. This has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And this has been the maintenance window for August 15th, 2024.